they are saying you are a shop assistant in a general store listen to your customers and click on the items they want there are many vocabularies in front of you a pair of pliers bathroom scale shock stick seal a uh, cork screw correct inflate a spatula cloth packs chopsticks it's a mistake do you have this white stuff that you use for correcting mistakes you know it's got a little brush and you paint it over the wrong word how she was describing correcting or inflate yeah correcting inflate it's a correct inflate hello yes yes your voice is clear okay Uh, I just want to uh, want to ask that uh, what's the corkscrew uh, mean? Corkscrew uh, mean to open something. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, opener. Uh, okay. In other word, we used okay. to say it opener. Bottle opener. Okay. Yes. Opener. And uh, Yurika, I am from office. Lahore. Okay. Are you are you joining online classes or? or? Uh, I have joined an online classes uh, due to my children. They are very young, uh, actually. So you are I sitting over there. Okay. No, no, I'm online. Exactly, by same issue, same issue. Okay. But I don't go outside. <laughs> If you want to go advanced level of English, you must have to use neither only the twelve tenses, activate, specialize, and what else? Direct and direct. It's a completely basic English. Okay, I thought it. parts of his speech. But if you want to get jump into the advanced level, you have to go with the phrasal verbs. Okay, phrasal verbs use more and more prepositions, structures, adjectives. Uh, yeah, of course, direct and direct advanced level, not the pre uh, pre primary level. Like uh, he said to me, he uh, told me like not like that. If you want to get jump into the advanced level, must work on vocabulary and advanced grammar. Okay, you will learn 